Welcome to High Fine Stage Dives, a SoCan licensed podcast coming to you weekly from Edmonton, Alberta, Canada. Each week, I talk about a song that's been stuck in your head at one point or another, or stuff you've never heard before. Welcome to this musical journey. What's up and welcome back to Hi-Fi and Stage Dives. I am your host as always, Ivan. Would there be another one? (laughs) No, (laughs) because it's my show, motherfuckers. Today, we will be talking about, I'd say, uh, my favorite Canadian band. I'd have to say they're my favorite Canadian band for multiple reasons. One, I can honestly say they're one of the fucking, they are the hardest working band that I know. These guys are nonstop uh, and they got great fucking music. So let's get into it. They are called the Cancer Bats. They get 41 play, 41,000 plays a month on Spotify. Sure, it's not 1.4 million, but these guys are fucking worth every play. I promise you that. They're from Toronto, Ontario, Canada. Hardcore punk, sludge metal, metalcore. Eh, metalcore, I guess, yeah. I don't know. They fucking kick ass and take names. It formed in 2004 with Liam Cormier, the singer, and Scott Middleton. So at the time when they first started, Scott was a guitar player and uh, Liam was playing drums. He's a multi-talented person. I'm going to get into his whole thing later too. Same thing with Scott. So they picked up Mike Peters, the drummer, and then Jay. I'm not going to pronounce the last name because I will butcher it and I don't want to do that. The reason why they started the band is they wanted to combine. So Liam and Scott wanted to combine all their favorite parts of bands. So their, their, their favorite parts of bands like uh, Entombed, Refused, Black Flag, Zeppelin, and Down, which I totally get, totally makes sense. There's lots of bands that I listen to. I'm like, oh, yeah, I keep doing that, and then they veer off into whatever. I mean, that's just what they do. There's nothing wrong with it. But to take everything that you like, sometimes you have to do it yourself. The first CD release or whatever the hell it was was a, was a demo. 2005, I believe it is. It got picked up by Distort Entertainment, which is the company that picked them up. They uh, hit the ground running after that. The way they came up with the name, Cancer Bats, is they figured the best way for their name and their band would be an animal and an illness. So they had Pneumonia Hawk and Cancer Bats. Pneumonia Hawk actually didn't get wasted. They turned that into a song. Great song, by the way. I would definitely check it out. So like I said, 2004, 2006. Now, this is where it gets interesting and this is where it gets nutty. These guys are fucking crazy nonstop. It's bonkers. In 2006, did a short interview on the Edge 102.1. I believe that's probably their local radio station. Then did a free CD release show. Knowing them, they did it right in the fucking parking lot or somewhere across the street or something crazy like that. Four days later, they released Birthing the Giant, the first actual album. And on the 7th, hosted MTV Canada, a show called All Things Raw. And then they played their video after it. So these guys, like, they didn't fuck around. They were touring Southern Ontario hardcore with Billy Talent, Every Time I Die. Nora, Haste Today, It Dies Today, Bane, Comeback Kid, Misery Signals, Rise Against the Gallows. Like, it's not some, some crazy heavy band shit there. Come 2007, 2008 is their second album release, Hail Destroyer. Uh, this is when they, they ran into a lineup change. They went through two bass players and finally settling with Jay. Their original bass player, Andrew, left to concentrate on his company that he had going. Which is absolutely fair. There's nothing wrong with that. So that album, Hail the Story, was released on April 22nd, 2008. That's my dad's birthday. It's kind of funny. It's just a weird coincidence, I guess. They had guest vocals on this this album. A lot of guest vocals, too. Uh, Wade McNeil, uh, uh, Lexus, On Fire, and Black Lungs. Tim McGrath of Rise Against. And Ben, oh my god, his last name. I don't want to wreck it either. Kowalzowicz from Billy Talent, singer from Billy Talent. And the release was held at the Mod Club in Toronto. Uh, and when they did Black Lungs, uh, Liam sang and drummed that song. So, taking some ass, taking some names. Some, like I said, he's a multi-talented guy. Also, on the 17th of May, Cancer Bats were put on the cover of Kerrang! for the Hail Destroyer album. And they got some kind of crazy review, and it's the highest review ever. They also got nominated for Album of the Year from Kerrang! all in that same year. Like During all this, they're touring everywhere all the time and it's it's nuts because that's what they do so i'm gonna rip through all these this touring stuff and the album releases and we'll, i'll get into talking about uh liam and i will play the feature song 2009 this is when they went crazy tours and bears mares 
scrapes and bones came out. March 2009 tour along with For Your Strong, Pierce the Veil, Bring Me the Horizon. Pierce the Veil, ugh, not one of my bands. Insane. They also appeared in Bring Me the Horizons video, kitchen scene they were playing cards. I remember, vaguely remember seeing this video when they used to actually do videos, so. They then returned to the UK. This is where it gets fucking a little nuts. And In Flames canceled the tour or whatever it was, uh, which they were slated to be main support. That's how that goes sometimes. It happens. It even happens locally here. You go to do a show and then a band backs out and then another band backs out and the show's done and they have to replace everything. It's, it's a shit show. So they went touring all over the UK, doing all the music festivals. In January and February 2010, band toured the U.S. supporting Anti-Flag, and then they, they joined uh, Billy Talent, Alexis on Fire, and Against Me on a cross-Canada tour, which is, that's pretty rad. Like, these guys have played some fucking big names. Just for some Canadian boys from Toronto, man. But like I said, they're amazingly good. And they don't stop. They just don't stop. That's what's awesome about them. They just fucking go and go and go and go and go. After all that crazy, intense shit, traveling the world and all that good stuff 2012 2014 dead set on living another album great album love this album it was more of a uh more of an influence album more upbeat i guess is what they they wanted to go for and i, I want to say that's the song that i remember seeing no it's death death march it's death march that's the song i'm going to be featuring by the way is death march uh i covered that with my band my uh, fucking very first band with a chick singer it worked. I guess we kind of made it work, but all in between. So yes, two, that's two years. But that whole time, these guys are touring hard because they also have Bat Sabbath, which I will talk about after the feature song. Also, so it comes 2015, Searching for Zero. That's their latest album. Great album. It's a uh, a great progression. If you go on Spotify, there all their stuffs on Spotify. But if you go on there, you can really see the progression of music that they go, they've come to and who have they really become and that's pretty fucking rad and they're all pretty rad dudes so go check them out so i'm going to feature the song death's march it's a tongue twister kind (laughs) of so go check this out check out the trust me you like heavy music like crazy music check these boys out man you won't be disappointed so i'll play death's march now enjoy it turn it up don't be scared don't be shy here we go enjoy the ride
So, that was Death's March. How you like that shit? Pretty good, right? I like it. That's why I featured it. Um, it's hard for me to pick my favorite song from Cancer Bats, but this list that I got going now is it's pretty it's pretty true to uh, how I feel about them. They're they're pretty pretty nuts. So, like I was saying, besides Cancer Bats, they also have a side thing, another moniker as they like to call it, called Bat Sabbath. And yes. It's all fucking Sabbath covers. And I'll tell you what, these boys fucking kill it. You want to twist and make some Sabbath even heavier? You fucking put some cancer bats on that shit and you make it even spicier. It's so hot, it's burning your ass while you're eating it in your mouth. That's how awesome it is. But yeah, no, check them out too. Bat Sabbath is fucking amazing. I've seen them live a few times now. I've also seen cancer bats more times than I can count on my hands. In Edmonton and in Montreal. Just because these guys, like I said, these guys are constantly fucking touring all the fucking time. It's nuts. I got two skateboards that they, they made. Uh, one's a coffin deck, which is signed by, the, signed by the whole band. And then I bought their Bat Sabbath Cancer Bats Tour. It's pretty cool. And it's just a giant bat shifting gears like a rat rods or a rat thing stuff. It's really great. So let's talk about Liam a little bit. And we'll talk about Scott Middleton. And then we'll probably talk about my feelings and stuff about them. Because they're fucking amazing. Uh, so Liam. Liam Cormier, dude is bonkers. You would think he's on drugs, all sorts of liquor, and all sorts of fucking also. The dude is a, a vegetarian straight edge. Um, he actually inspired me to tone it down a bit, I guess you could say. When I saw that he could go that fucking hard and that fucking crazy on stage and be dead sober is amazing. That blew my fucking mind. He also, uh, <laughs> I was watching some like YouTube uh, interviews of him. And he's like, it's cool. It's like, yeah, the boys party. And he's like, they sleep and I drive. And then they switch spots. I don't know if that's still how it goes, but that's like when he told me that, that was pretty rad. Besides being straight edge and a vegetarian and taking care of business, he also has a clothing company called Treadwell. Great fucking shit, too. I got a, a Brap Cat shirt. It's one of the most comfiest shirts that I've had in my entire life. And it fits well. Actually, if you go to the awesomehour.com, and check out the interview we did with him, Alec and I, in the back of my truck. <laughs> it was bonkers. I, we couldn't find power, nothing. It was nuts. My homie Alec was running around in the back alley like a junkie, trying to <laughs> stick things in plug-ins, trying to find power. Oh, it was fucking nuts. It was awesome. But Liam still did it. Liam was rad about it, man. Like He is a fucking really rad dude. Um, He deserves all of his, his good things that are coming to him. Also... He, he's a crazy motorbike guy. I believe his girlfriend owns, it's called Town Moto, and his buddy, him and her, run it or something. I can't remember. He told me, well, we got the interview. Go check out the interview to give you the dirties on that. Uh, but he rides motorbikes like nuts. He actually rode a Harley all across Europe and shit. Go check out the interview. It's amazing. Listen to this. I'm going to go check out the interview after anyway. It's definitely worth it. Theawesomeart.com, you'll find it. It's called cool, uh, Crucial Hangs with Liam. Definitely worth checking out tells you some rad stories in the backgrounds and stuff that he that he's done uh, check out his treadwell clothing his clothes are amazing quality i can't save enough of it just because it's liam i would buy this to buy this shit like he could be selling garbage shit but because it's liam because he's such a nice guy and he, he goes out of his way to do some good shit he deserves it go check it out scott middleton guitar player he's a very large man but he's very short i'm six two i tower over him but this guy is a fucking monster on stage he writes great music not only is he a musician he is a sound engineer a producer studio musician and recording should i say recording engineer he does all that shit dude's fucking he's just one of those guys that does everything and he's good at it i check him out too i <laughs> i kind of fanboy because like i'll post things randomly and every once in a while he likes my pictures i know he's a busy dude doing stuff too but Every once in a while, I get a little like from Scotty B. It's cool. With Scotty B City, I think it's sound. I can't remember exactly, but Scotty likes my shit. It's really rad. Also, Bat Sabbath. Make sure you check them out. First time I heard Cancer Bats, their name threw me off a little bit, but I started listening to them, and I'll tell you what. Glad I did, because like I said, they're my fucking favorite Canadian band, hands down. I haven't missed a show. I unfortunately will be missing a show this year which I'm kind of pissed about because it's going to be Hail Destroyer's 10th year anniversary. But I will be going to see uh, Queens of the Stone Age and Royal Blood. First time seeing them both, so it's cool. I was like thinking of ways I can see them both, but it's just not going to fucking happen. 
Like, ugh. Kind of piss about. And the venues are so fucking close. I could literally walk a few blocks down the street and go to see Cancer Bats, <laughs> leave, and go back and finish watching Queens of Stone Age. Like, fuck, man. So, I'm so torn. But yeah, the reason why I like these guys, this song is a perfect example of it. Liam's vocals, like, gnarly. Uh, he said that uh, when he started uh, Bat Sabbath, it was finally, he's like, I should go to sing. It's, it's his style of singing, obviously, but like I said, his progression of from the beginning to where they are now and like what this song's doing. I fucking love this song. I don't know. It, it's the riff. It's the way he's singing. What he's saying. Like, he's just a dude, you know? But like I said, they're the hardest working band I've known. Well, I don't know. Like, I've, that I know of. I haven't. They're, they're not rich and famous. The dudes that work. And then they tour and tour and tour and like they fucking tour like nuts, man. Maybe this is how they do it in Europe, but I, I've not, I, I haven't personally seen it. I mean, I know there's other bands that tour like fucking crazy too, and there's some big bands that do some crazy stuff, and some big artists that do some crazy shows. But for guys like Cancer Bats, get in a van with a trailer and they fucking haul off across Canada, coast to coast. They'll go from the west coast to the east coast, down into the states, and back up into the west coast again driving and just road sick <laughs> and that's it you know that's lucifer's rocking chair that's what that song's about and it's the uh, road sick it's about driving and driving and driving like these guys are nuts man if they if they deserve like massive if anybody sorry deserves crazy famous money these guys definitely they put in their time and they've done it i know it's not the same it doesn't work that way nowadays but they are a canadian staple for the hardcore scene for sure through and through for metal definitely uh also liam is in other bands i can't remember the names off the top of my head i should have wrote them down but that was not my my main my main focus uh that liam is in and i uh, uh there's this axe wound no axe wound. there's like a, a mini like super group these guys are all together and uh liam's in it so check them out do yourself a favor go check out these guys they work fucking hard they're good at what they do. I fucking love the music. And if you like any hard music, it's great music. I've always wanted to see there was a band out of Ontario uh, called Party Cat. They're no longer around. They're another name now. I always wanted to see uh, them, Every Time I Die, and Cancer Bands. I think that would be like one of the ultimate shows ever for myself personally. And I, I know it would be a hell of a time. Like This is one of the bands where I'm always in the pit. The swinging and fucking getting sweaty and getting punched and punching and kicking and holding my own because you have to in the pit right and that's another thing too like Liam's pretty rad about stuff if he sees anything stupid going on in the pit he fucking he points it out and he he takes care of business uh, they also do a cover of Beastie Boy Sabotage which I highly suggest you check out which happens to be a snippet of the music that I use on the intro if that, if that sounds any familiar to you and if it didn't, it probably will now when you hear it. Uh, my intro drop is actually a part of Sabotage Beastie Boys, covered by Cats Bats. Amazing. They have great music videos, too. Go on YouTube, check them out. Some of them are hilarious. And some of them are just fucking straight up awesome. So, yeah. That was Cancer Bats. This is Hail Destroyer, the song. And this is the album they'll be touring. Go check them out. You won't be disappointed. If you are... You don't like music. <laughs> uh, you like poop. I don't know what you like. You don't like. So check them out. Cancer Bats, Liam, Scott Middleton, Jay. And I want to say Peter because he's got two names. He's got two first names. Their drummer's got fucking two first names. And it fucks me up every fucking time. Mike. Liam, Scott, Jay, and Mike. Give the boys some love. They deserve it. Check out their stuff. Follow them on their Instagram. Oh, speaking of which, uh, make sure you follow me on Instagram, Twitters, and the Facebooks. I don't have a website. I, I've been struggling if I'm going to get a website or not. Probably should. It's probably the right thing to do. Um, make sure you check out my other podcast, The Awesome Hour, at theawesomehour.com. iTunes, all the good stuff. Rate, re- rate and review. Follow, subscribe, like me, comment, share me. Just do all that. If you ever need to talk, I'm here. Yeah, there was another episode of High Five Stage Dives. This was Ivan, your host. Always will be your host unless something crazy happens and somebody like a guest host. Maybe oh, I just had an idea. But let's wrap up. This is the end. Thank you guys for listening. Much love. 
always listen to music. Want to know why? Because music will make everything feel that much better. Much love. Until next week. Thank you again for listening to High Fi and Stage Dives. It means the world to me. I'm glad you could come on this journey with me, and we'll keep doing it every week. Subscribe, rate, and review, all that good stuff, and keep listening to music because it only makes life better. And we'll see you on the flip side. Stay rad.